crafting in Minecraft is pretty standard and pretty balanced. But what if instead crafting was extremely OP, with tools getting amazing upgrades, or apples being turned into notch apples? And I forgot to mention, the crafting also gets multiplied. Can I beat Minecraft with all this going on and without breaking my game? Well, we're about to find out. Also, most of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed and I'm trying so hard to get to 3 mil this year, so please, if you're new, click that subscribe button. And look at this, we spawn right by a village. We have OP crafting and an OP seed. I'm gonna grab at least one bed. Are you good, sir? Do you, do you like wood? Oh, okay, look at me when I'm speaking to you. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. I just wanted to, do you like wood? Because we, uh, well, we're about to get a lot of it. I, you know what, not too much though. Whether the same thing's gonna happen with crafting tech. Okay. It's crafting tables we like, apparently. What on earth? Why have we got- Who's ever gonna need this many? Excuse me, sir. I've got three crafting tables for everyone. Yep, you as well. We've got loads. Look at this. A water bucket. I if I give him a load of crafting tables, he, he probably won't understand. I bet the same thing happens when we make sticks. Oh my goodness. All we have to do is successfully make a pickaxe. And, and see, that doesn't multiply. And it's just got unbreak it. You know what? That's pretty useless. Let's try again. Take two. Fortune. I tell you what, that could be good. It could be good for one simple reason. Not copper, that uh, that doesn't work. But instead, coal. Notice what happens when I mine it? Okay. I, yeah, we did get a lot. I thought I didn't get a lot for a second. All these sticks are just ruining it for me. Let's mine another one and say, yeah, look at that. We've got loads of coal. And if I mine one extra one, we can go ahead, go to the crafting table. Oh, wait. This isn't going to be a good idea, is it? Okay, that's okay. Thought I was just going to be overrun with blocks of coal then. I'll also grab three pieces of stone and let's please get a good pickaxe. Come on. Silk touch. It's okay. But as it happens, for some reason, you can't use normal stone to make a stone pickaxe. And in reality, everyone knows we actually want an efficiency pickaxe. Which at long last, we now have. And mining has never been easier. I guess the next thing I should do is make some more tools and I should probably try and get a bit of food. Sorry, pigs. I, I have no choice. Oh my goodness. What? You know, every time it catches me out, I go to craft some, I end up with six million furnaces. And whilst that's cooking, I'm going to get some sleep. I have a much better plan, though, to get some food. As much as I do love my meat, sometimes you've just got to go vegan. Not quite what I was looking for, but I'll take the bread. And the only way for me to do that is to steal this one hay bale, then craft it, and yeah, you don't think we're going to be going hungry again, do you? And they may have thought that I was stealing some of their good stuff, but look at this. I mean, we just, we get, we're getting a stack every single time. It's beautiful. Here are all the hay bales. Oh my goodness, they're all on the floor as well. What have I done? I should just stick to crafting bread and, and nothing else. All right, I've, I've made a massive mess. I'm just going to leave now. And for my next project, I... Okay, I, I shouldn't do that. I was going to say, I need some iron. And before I go any further, I'd like to thank Cherry MX and ROG for sponsoring this video. They're in a competition to win one of these new ROG Falcon keyboards and a bunch of other ROG stuff. More on that shortly. But yeah, this keyboard is a great one. To begin with, it's got a compact 65% design so that it doesn't take up loads of space on your desk. Because let's be honest, not everyone's got loads of space. It can also either be wired or wireless, which is great if you're OCD like me and, and you don't want loads of wires everywhere. I'm not actually OCD, by the way. You should, <laughs> you should see the mess in my bedroom. It's got a touch panel on the side so you can change the volume and see how much battery it has left. And speaking of battery life, how long do you think it lasts? Two hours? 10 hours? No, it, it lasts 450 hours. You'll never use that up unless you're a real hardcore gamer. And it's also good for high level gaming thanks to the Cherry MX mechanical switches on the keys that are super responsive and precise. And they also change colors too. One of the biggest features of the keyboard is the Cherry MX switches, which are the red ones. They're linear ones, so they're much quieter. So compared to my old keyboard, which is this, this is the new one, which I mean, yeah, it's much quieter. And they can be pressed 100 million times, so in other words, they'll never break. And now for a competition to win one of these. I'm going to go into Minecraft and I'm going to create this keyboard. And also a Cherry MX Switch, which uh, is one of these. I feel like the people that sponsor this video actually think I'm good at building or something. Brace yourself for something amazing. Yeah, this is my keyboard. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm not that good at building. Kind of wanted to do this similar compact design, you know, this is a kind of a side-by-side. -side. And mine also lights up. As you can see, it's got all the different colors. It could be so much more creative with like stained glass and actual lighting. And this is my red Cherry MX Switch, which is meant to be this. You probably can't see that, so I'll put two of them on the screen, two pictures of them. That's what I tried to recreate. Obviously, it could be way more detailed if an actually good builder did this. Now, all you have to do to enter is, <laughs> is basically just build something better than this. It needs to have the keyboard in it and the Cherry Key Switch too when you take the picture. So I can find my best angle, take a picture like this, and sub Submit it. But how do you submit it? Well, there'll be a link at the top of the description. So just take a screenshot, send it on there. All the details will be on that Gleam link on how to enter this giveaway. So if I don't explain it very well, the website will. Then I'll pick the three best ones who will win these keyboards 
and first place will get some extra prizes too. So yeah, thank you Cherry MX and ROG for sponsoring this video. Now back to digging down. The thing that I'm currently looking for is iron. And right here we have found some, but we can instantly mine it. In fact, a better idea is to use this pickaxe. Yeah, we got loads of iron. I have to say, it's a good thing then that I've also got loads of furnaces. I'll tell you, sometimes there's nothing better than seeing 20 furnaces all working together. And already, I've got loads and loads of iron waiting in each one. So I guess that means we can create some amazing armor. I mean, look at this. Blast protection? <laughs> Show me the TNT. I would like normal protection as well if I can get it, but that's got mending. You know what? That's pretty useless and we have so much iron that we're just, we're going to throw it away. Take two and more blast protection. Oh my goodness. You know, I'm just going to walk into a desert temple and see what happens. I've got thorns. Oh, okay. That, that's going to be bad for anybody that dares touch me. And fire protection. So we can walk in lava, TNT, you name it. We've got it. I'm just going to create a load of pickaxes. Oh, I only did it to one of them. Well, that's not fair. I feel like I've just been scammed. Thankfully, I've still got millions of iron left. And we just got efficiency level 188. Sorry, stone pickaxe, but um, it's the end of the line for you. I've just realized I've been collecting all this iron. But if I go ahead and create an iron block. Yeah, we, we've got so much iron. I could do that again and again. And and I could I could honestly just keep getting unlimited iron. Look at look at the oh no, what have I just done? I'm just gonna walk away. You know I I don't need anything more from here. Come on, creeper! I dare you to blow up. Yeah, go on. Look at no damage at all. We've also found a mine shaft with anything good in it. Hey, a diamond. Well, is a diamond good? It's going to be useful. Go on, spider. I dare you to touch me. That's right. Me thorns means you don't stand a chance. And for some reason that also means. That when they attack me, I, I don't get poison. That's good enough for me, but I think I should get out of the cave. Now then, the next thing I should search for is a lava lake. Okay, this looks pretty amazing. A mesa biome just on the edge of the swamp. You hardly ever see these. I would craft a boat, but I feel like I'll just end up with a million of them. Sometimes it's just easier to parkour on the lily pads. Now then, what have we got here? I'm also going to build with blocks of iron because I, <laughs> I have way too many of them. It's a pretty large mesa biome. And over there, we have a ruined portal. Nothing very useful in this chest, but this gold block, well, that is going to be very useful. You see, all I have to do is get rid of this useless iron. And if I I craft the gold ingots. Look at this. Look, I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're sorted. Then I turn them back into blocks. Yeah, this is this is not good for me. Look at me. I, I'm just. Oh my goodness! Can you see what's happening on the bottom of my screen? I guess I could just infinitely do that, and I've. Um, I really like things. Let's now get rid of a load of these ingots. Oh my goodness! What have I got myself into? I accidentally just threw away my diamond in, in all of that, but. Um, you know what? I ain't going back in for it. Let's be honest, they're for peasants anyway. That looks like it could be useful in the distance. An above ground abandoned mine shaft. To be honest, building with iron blocks feels like it's too cheap as well. We, we, we should use gold blocks now. Yes, we don't need them really. So um, we're going to do that. I mean, we do kind of need the gold, but we we don't need that much gold. I don't really know what I could find that would even be useful at this mine shaft. So instead, I'm going to do what I should have done before and create a gold boat. No, we still can't do that, sadly. He said a normal boat. Oh, we've got a stack of boats. Wait, that shouldn't even be possible. I mean, we've got more than a stack of boats. We've got we've got millions. Can we get... Oh, we got two stacks of boats now. Wait, so can I just do this? Yeah, look at this. This is brilliant. It's also a waste of boats, so we're, we're just going to sail the proper way. And if I couldn't find lava on land, maybe an underwater ravine will help. It's definitely light around here, but I'm not seeing anything, but... I Oh, look at this. Brilliant. This is why the beauty is having a good pickaxe. And because I have fortune level 255... I get a flint every time from gravel. As much as the piglins are going to love this, some of these gold blocks have just got to go. Oh no, I need one ingot. That's all I want. But no, I've got to get 60 million. Although with flint and steel, what do we get instead? Do we get like mending or something? Yeah, we got mending. So at least they didn't completely take over my inventory. Now to create some sort of portal. There we go. Perfect. That is all done. And round this corner I spotted before some diamonds. I feel like an efficiency pickaxe isn't the way. We need to get fortune a thousand if we can. Here we go with attempt one. So touch, you know, this could take some time. There we go, we got it. It didn't actually take that long. You can see how the lapis trick is a thing, because these are actually like three or four blocks apart. So I don't know how many diamonds we've got here. Let's make sure there's no lava. Okay, we've got a few diamonds here as well. Let's see, this is what I'm talking about. Lava like this. Let's just mine up the coal. Yeah, this this coal everywhere. That was a bit of a mistake, but there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. An amount of diamonds that we need. I can just try and pick them up without constantly picking up coal. In fact, I've got a better idea. Let's just split them into stacks. There we go. We've got all the diamonds. But let's be honest, it's it's just not going to be enough for me, okay? I, I think we um, we need to take things to the next level. Yes, you know, it's it's not going to be a blessed look. Let's just spawn loads and loads of diamonds in. Look at me now. <laughs> Tell me diamonds are for peasants now. <laughs> yes, they are. So, um, yeah, we must uh, we must burn them all, I'm afraid. Also, don't ask why the fire was blue. We're, uh, we're back to red fire. Or maybe it's more of an orange. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you why it's blue. We're about to go through. Yeah, I use this icy pack for pretty much all my videos. I just like the way it looks. And now we're going to search and see what we can find. 
The beauty of this as well is, okay, well, first of all, my armor's so good that I, I'm fine in lava. But the actual plan was to do something that looks a little bit more like this. And look at that. A fortress pretty close. My portal is just, like, just across there. And I'm pretty sure from this fortress, I'm going to have everything that I need. I just have to try and find the blaze. And I'm also pretty sure that they can't set me on fire, even if they hit me. Okay, he just took himself out. I have more power than you could ever imagine. That's because I'm not wearing diamond armor. Hey, all these diamonds, they just need to get out of here. I'd rather have dirt than diamonds, to be quite honest with you. Finally, I found the blaze. Now... If I just hit them, I, you know, I've got, I've got a way better idea. I know what I just said about diamonds, but we're about to get loads of them. I'm thinking if we just make like a good sword, we could probably, if we can get looting a thousand or something like that, we can get loads of blaze rods really, really fast. So far, I've managed to get every single one except for looting. And there we go, level 255. And I wonder if I could be really smart, create an anvil. Oh my goodness, this is just getting absolutely out of hand. Look at all this stuff. Then with the anvil, we can put them together and... Yes, that works amazingly. Even though that we lose the high sharpness and high sweeping edge, we do get some good stuff, but I, I need more levels. Now to see what we can do. Oh my goodness, there's loads of these guys. This sharpness five isn't that good, but I mean, they are all getting taken out by the thorns. My thorns armor is probably going to break pretty soon anyway. And to be honest with you, I'm just going to mine this up because there's blaze rods everywhere. I only need one stack. Let's get rid of a bit of iron. There we go. Perfect. Well, if I'd waited a little bit longer, I could have got 13 levels, but not to worry. I can just take out a few of these guys and get all the XP that I need. Are you kidding me? I couldn't be any closer to level 13. I guess it's you that will bring me that final amount. Now let's anvil this sweeping edge. I don't even know what, how did it suddenly become 15? Today is just not my day, is it? And I just missed the boat clutch. Yeah, it's really not my day. Looks like it's back to battling blades. And these guys are also great for what I need. Don't know why I'm doing all this just to put sweeping edge on my sword. I'll even go as far as to take out a strider. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. And there we go. We got level 15. Let's put both of these together and get out of here. And yes, I'm now building with anvils for some reason. It's like playing a musical instrument. You just, you just hear... Okay, I'm going to die to an anvil. Here. You ready for this, guys? Listen carefully. I don't know why, it's just kind of satisfying. Hello, good sir, Mr. Piglin. Um, don't be angry at me. Just just take the gold. Take the gold and go into this hole. What's that? You want more gold? Don't, don't worry, we can we can get you so much gold. I mean, you, you can't really see this on screen right now, guys, but there is absolutely millions of it going straight. Yeah, I just I, I just lagged out my game. But <laughs> I don't think he's ever had so much in his life. Flint and the steel is going to be useful to get rid of some of it. Honestly, mate, you're welcome. I don't really want anything that you've got to offer. I just I just wanted to give you a good day. All I've got to do is find one enderman to get my pearls, so I'll just worry about that. There's not really any easy way to get to the surface other than just to use my pickaxe really fast. No, in fact, I'm, I'm below an ocean. If only I could learn to use my brain more often. And without a doubt, we've got the perfect time to find enderman. There we go. We've got one right here. He's, he's kind of angry already, so um, let's just try and get rid of him. Look at that. Perfect. Most of my armor has broke, so I've got to be quite careful. But without a doubt, a very successful night. Now then, I do also want to take out a few creepers. Since me being me, I have got a few plans up my sleeve. I barely use all this gold, but I don't really need it at all, do I? Instead, let me just grab a bit of sand. I don't really need much at all. Then we craft the TNT, but of course, you know, we're just going to get loads of TNT. You know, we, we can get loads of it. Then we're going to use all of it. I, I, I can't quite take all of it, but I'm going to attempt to refind my portal. And it should be somewhere down this ravine. Then I'm going to head on through. Just before digging down, I'm going to make some new armor. This time out of diamonds, because it, it's going to come in handy later. There's also a gas shooting me, which is kind of panicking. Although we have now got Prot 255 diamond chest plate. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So yeah, that's all of that sorted. Wait, did I get... I got Frostwalker on my leggings. Didn't realize that was a thing, but let's just keep digging down. Maybe in lava right now, but that's not really a problem since the protection is, is doing well. Now I also need a much better pickaxe and super speed mining can be achieved. Look at that, I just went straight through ancient debris already. Because this pickaxe is so good, I can actually run and jump and, and it, it, it just makes it ridiculously fast. And now that I've got a super long tunnel, we fill it up completely with TNT and then test it out. And look at that. Ancient debris everywhere. Well, everywhere was a bit of an overstatement, but we have got some of it. Look at that one hidden down there as well. Perfect. And there was a second one, a third one. Oh my goodness, how much have we got already? Nine. And I've just realized something. I've, I've just, yeah, I've completely realized I don't need to do any more mining. Although because I stupidly threw away all my gold, I am going to need a little bit more, but... There's some right here, as you can see. If I first smelt all of this ancient debris and create some gold ingots... Okay, I, I forgot. Yeah, you get loads from everything. Um, You know what? We're just going to... Yeah, that'll do. This is just ruining everything. I'm gonna have to burn it all. Next, I take the netherite scrap, put it in a crafting table, and look at this. Look at this. Let's just keep going. Okay, the the, the diamonds are for peasants thing. Well, <laughs> I've taken it to a new level. Although, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. You know, we're gonna need a smithing table. Although, it's oh, it's gonna give me about six million of them, out, isn't it? I'll just have to do. Let's then upgrade all of this armor. This really is lagging my PC, isn't it? Look at that. Cover me in ancient debris. Perfect. Same for my pickaxe and also my sword. Now for the ultimate flex. We're going to grab netherite blocks. Yeah, we're just we're just going to get a load of them. You know, I need to get out of it. What a mess. Can it burn? Wait, I can't burn netherite, can I? Oh, no. That's, that's just going to be laggy for the rest of my life. Let's just create a few new blocks and uh, 
Get out of here. I'd also like to take the opportunity to burn all of these diamonds. And now I can start building with a much better item. Time to get overwhelmed by more items. I don't want loads and loads of stuff. I just want enough to make myself some eyes of ender. Is, is that too much to ask? And according to the thing, the stronghold is dead ahead. But there is one more thing that I need to try and find on the way. And to be honest, these things are, are really, really rare. And if I manage to find one of these things, I'm probably the luckiest ever. Minecraft player. Can you guess what I was looking for? Yeah, a tree. Yeah, super, super rare in Minecraft, aren't they? I, uh, well, it's not the tree exactly. It's something I need from the tree. Sadly, this tree seems to have let me down. And I've got pretty lucky to find another tree because they're so rare. And this one was much better. You see, if I just take this apple and, you know, I need to throw away some stuff. Yeah, th 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 this is very important to me. Put the apple here and it's, it's pretty rubbish. But with the mighty crafting table, we put it in. Oh, yes, we get the notch apples and I'm telling you now, we're just going to get so many of these. Let's do it. Come on. Yes, bread, I'm sorry, but it, that your days are numbered. I live <laughs> off the good stuff now. It does look kind of beautiful, doesn't it? Just all like shimmering and stuff. I hope you don't mind my frame rate being terrible for the, those small moments. And now all that's left to do is try and find the stronghold. I'm, I'm not sure anything can actually stop me. In fact, I'm willing to put my house on it that I'm not going to die. Good thing I don't actually own a house. By my calculations, the stronghold is right about here. Time to dig down. I, I have no idea what... Okay, we missed it. Now to try and search it out. I seem to have lost a bit of health then. Oh, we're okay now. Something tells me that crafting is maybe maybe just a little too OP. Although I wish I could craft something that would help me find the portal room. Never mind, the mission has been accomplished. There's only one way to deal with these silverfish, and that is to blow them up. There we go, look, you, you literally walk straight into it. That's it. Oh no, I just created a load more silverfish. I, yeah, I didn't actually think this through. Can a super high efficiency pickaxe break endstone? Nope, it, it still can't. Let's add in all of the eyes. And time to defeat the dragon in style. This first bit, I want to kind of create maybe a TNT cannon. Although there's no way to make buttons. I, yeah, I don't really have what I need, so f forget that idea. So I have to try some kind of botched up TNT jump. Here we go. Yeah, what on earth just happened there? TNT certainly doesn't work like it does on Bed Wars. Take two, we build up to the towers. If I actually had a way to make a new sword, then I can just make a really good one. But I don't, so instead it's time for plan B. I better manually take in the map. Okay, what just happened there? But yeah, I can also speed the process up by getting a load of ender pearls and doing something like... Oh, look at that. I just landed. That, that's perfection right there again. Oh, yeah, I can just I, I can just ender pearl straight into the crystals. It's that easy. I am undefeatable. I am the most powerful thing in Minecraft right now. Snowballs are underrated. It's where ender pearls are where it's at. I can just jump off. Do I even need to do that? Well, I'm going to water bucket clutch anyway. And it turns out I somehow missed a pillar anyway. What am I doing? But once I land, there we go. We've done it. I'm going to jump off again. I don't know where the dragon's gone. It's just flown away. Does dragon's breath actually, you know, hurt me, hurt me? I mean, I could just sit here eating golden apples and I'm... I'm pretty happy. And a sharpness 5 netherite sword probably isn't fair at this point. If only I had string and I could make a bow. Here we are on take two. Take three. Oh my goodness, he's so weak. How could you fly away with just that? I'm going to do something stupid and I'm going to try to in and hit him and... You know, that was pretty cool. And also a complete waste of time. And there we go, defeated. That was definitely the most OP crafting I have ever seen in Minecraft. But in the end, it was mission accomplished.